Yeah. 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 Chat at. All right. Let me know when you guys are ready. Just play it. (laughs) (laughs) I swear. Welcome to the Hardly Heroes Podcast. Above the city, they shine in my spotlight Commissioner on the rooftop, double H in the night sky For the sidekicks, we fight for the right crosses we throw For the ninjas, we injure revenge on our foes From crime alleys to radioactive insects Genetic mutations, weapon X rejects Our infinite arson and crisis Our walls are civil but secret, here come The Mad King! Joe Skillard! Cheese whiz! Blaring through your speakers, yeah Totally heroes Clobbering time Welcome to Hardly Heroes, a podcast dedicated to movies, TV, and everything geek-related. I'm your host, Buddy. Hi, guys. I'm Dillard Skillard. I'm Tater. Tot. No. Cheese. Whiz. <gasps> I'm Cheesy Tot. No. Cheesy Tots. Whiz. Cheesy Tots. Cheesy Tot. Uh, or cheese what did whiz. what did Dilly call me today? A uh, uh, knicker chip. Oh yeah, knicker chips. What's funny is we have um, our friend, friend of the show, Lenny. He calls me and Laura, our my sister. He calls us the Knicker Sisters. Well, welcome to episode 186. Uh, Today is November 26th. It is. Which you, it is not coming to you on November 26th. We are recording this early Mm -hmm. because Shmi over here said she wanted. Uh, Thanksgiving break. I wanted to start my Thanksgiving break early, and they wanted to record tomorrow. It's Wednesday. Way past Scalardo's bedtime right now. <laughs> no matter what, we would have been recording not on Thursday. I just wanted it a day early because I wanted after we guys you guys, after we record tonight, I mean I don't know about y'all's, but I don't have to work until Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> well guess who does? <laughs> <laughs> what do you work? Friday? I work tomorrow. Am Friday? No. No. Nice. I have uh You have Thursday, Friday weekend. off? Yeah. yeah. Oh cool. I gotta work Monday. So so you work tomorrow? Yeah. And then you don't work Thursday, Friday? No. Cool. So we all have a nice Thanksgiving break. Cheese just has one extra day. And also I have things going on tomorrow, so. Nothing. Like what? Well, I, I'm going to hang out with my man. And because I was um, gone in Denver actually all weekend um, with sister, which was super fun. Um so a friend of the show, Lenny, that I was just talking about, it was his birthday and his wife. Happy birthday, Lenny. Katie. Yeah. Happy birthday tomorrow happy or tomorrow. Maybe when he's listening to it, it'll be yeah, yesterday. Day late. <laughs> um, but his uh, his wife, Katie, shout out to Katie. Love Katie. Um, threw him a surprise party. 40th birthday oh, yeah. surprise party. Okay. Like flew his family out. Like it was crazy. I don't think he expected to see me and sister there, you know, because we live here in yeah. Sacramento. So he was super surprised. It was a really, really fun time. You have to go big on the old milestone. On the 40, for sure. Of the 40. So our, it, our sister is coming up on be that age. You're going to do a surprise party? Steadily approaching that. Yeah. So I don't know if we're going to throw a surprise party, but we are going to probably do something fun, I bet. You know? Mm-hmm. Maybe a big Sibs trip. I don't know. We'll see what's happening. Okay. Um, but anyway, so that's what I did this weekend. And um, so I need, I just have things I need to do tomorrow okay you guys i'm okay. sorry we understand thanks okay. no problem dilly can i talk about my weekend i would love to hear about your weekend so i made a little uh thanksgiving turkey for some friends in the smoke in the traeger oh always Ooh, in the yeah. tregs okay and uh i actually got to go to beehive for their one year anniversary oh yeah that looked like fun beehive collectibles Picked up you guys some oh, pins. Yes. Oh, you guys, you got us a pin? Yeah. Um, shout out to AV. AV hooked it up. Yeah, I like these. Thanks, AV. I want to see my pin. No, you should have your pin over there. This is an extra pin. I don't have my pin. Well, you must have lost it. Well, then you are missing out because these are sick. I got an extra one for the palm oh, I found alarm. It. I found it. I found it. Oh, so. that's cute. Beehive collectibles. Actually, um, because he posted a, you know, like a bunch of pictures from it. Yeah. And I, you know, because he's obviously wearing like a beehive shirt in like yeah. every photo. And I was like, I really like that shirt. I know. I really. That's a, that's a solid shirt. Did you see? Hey, he got his own fun co. Did like he they really? They made him Oh, one. that's so it's cool. It's pretty cool. Like for the anniversary, really cool. somebody made it? Yeah. Oh, man, that's so cool. 
So he's got his own fun co now. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, so. that's legit. Yeah. So uh, he wanted to say thanks, and uh, I didn't win the raffle, so I'm a little mad about that. What What was the prize? The prize yeah. was a twenty five dollar gift card. Noise. Because I'm trying to get that uh, Infinity Gauntlet. They make a Funko Pop? No, it's just the actual like the hand like a uh, Manny uh, hat. Yeah, it's the Iron Man one. And he has it up there. Oh yeah, the Iron Man one's cool. So uh, you guys know Christmas coming up. Oh, what do you buy, what do you buy me? I actually already bought you one seed. thing, Mrs. Nesbitt. Wow, check no. you out. You're knocking out those. Uh, what you got me something out I don't list yeah. early. You got me something, something I don't, don't know, know about, about for Christmas, mm-hmm. but you don't even know if you got me for Secret Santa. It doesn't matter. I give my sissy something. Oh, it's so oh sweet. how sweet! I know, yeah. isn't he? Dilly's getting coal. Yeah, mm. I think he deserves. No, I deserve a gift. Yeah, I feel probably like it's going to be beer. Something I mean, you good. know what? I'm going to get you a Peter Pan shirt. Yeah. Mm. I second that. You know what, that. Peter Pan? He's it's a, he's a bad guy. I just watched it. How is he a bad guy? Well. All I'm going to say is, Pan's look where it's based on. Look what it's based on. The Grim Fairy Tales. That'll tell you everything you need to know about Pan. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> about Pan? I can Pan's clear up the, the Pan. Go check that out. Pan. I can help with the Pam Pan issue. Oh, wait. I wanted- Are you saying panned? <laughs> <laughs> um, Pam. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys what I got uh, Lenny for his birthday. I got him the th- a Threat Level Midnight official movie poster. Ooh, from one of the cons? One of the cons. Dude, is he a big office nut? He's a huge office nut, loves the office. You know, we play that office game. Um, and Oh, yeah, I forgot about them. Still yeah, and, like, that and like his daughter was all like gel, like she was going to steal it from him. I'm still yet to be in that game. Actually, buddy, you know what? I'm actually super stumped right now, so maybe I can have you take a look. I do like that. I'm super stumped. All right, so... Um, what are we what so, are we getting yeah. into today? What's going on, Jill? Well, what did we do last week? Let's see. Uh, we had Cra- Crazy Creighton on Crazy the show. Crazy Creighton. He was... Clayton and Creighton both showed up. We got did Clayton. he get anybody sick? Oh, wait. Yes, he did. Slightly, he got, maybe for a day. He got Michelle sick. Yeah. I could be sick right now. Don't I, I was, sound a little stuffed up? Yeah, you sound bad. I was a little bad. infected. I was on the phone with my mom, and she's like, you sound terrible. Who? Mammy. Oh. I was like, thanks, ma'am. Mammy? Sometimes when ma- when when ma'am calls, mammy calls, I'm like, hey, what's up, ma'am? You know, I'm saying ma'am, but it sounds like I'm saying man. Like, what's up, man, to my mom? That's not. That's I just weird. say mammy. Yeah, I know, but sometimes I like to shorten it. If you say mammy, she'd probably it wouldn't sound like man. Yeah, like Manny. No, I just know. Just say mammy. Okay, but sometimes I like to be like, what up, ma'am? Ma'am. E. Try to be all e. Hit with it, <laughs> ma'am. E. e. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, so, Mammy! A special thanks to Clayton for coming on. Mm-hmm. That was a f- very fun, lively Star Wars discussion um, that I really he told I came me away feeling good about. He felt bad. He felt like it was just me and him talking most of the time. Well, you guys are. Well, that's like, what it's about when you're the guest, right? Well, and that the thing is, is like as much as I like to talk smack with Clayton and about Star Wars fans, I. You know, I love the Star Wars and I've seen all of them, but I don't know them like y'all's, you know? You've seen them all? I've seen every single... D- Dilly, you've seen them all too, right? Negative. I've seen, I would say, 75%. Okay, okay. But I've seen what I need to see. I kind of just skipped the crap. <laughs> like that. I've, ne- <laughs> yeah. I've seen what I need to see. <laughs> yeah. The rest, yeah. 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 It's, 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 mm-hmm. But I did nerf, nerf. shout out to Clayton again. I did yeah. after the episode. I was so fired up about Rebels. You did know? You yes, watch it? that was the hype. <laughs> so yeah, I started. I didn't haven't got super far into it yet, but I did start watching it, and I like it. Yes, I'm gonna keep going on you that. Know, you know what I've decided? Uh, Thank you, uh, Clayton. You know what? Steamed up on that. And what Clay I've decided Bay. is Clay that Bay. Clay Bay. What I've decided is that even if I love Rebels, I will never tell Clayton because I don't want him to get have the satisfaction. Will you tell me? Yeah, but are you gonna tell Clayton? No. It'll be a brother sister. He'll write secret? him a letter. Yeah. Pinky's pinky so swear. He doesn't have to. Pinky swear. Say no it. crossies count. I said no <laughs> crossies count. Ow, that hurt my fingy. Sorry. Um, and then also a shout out to Michael from the Downright per- Nerdy Podcast. Every time I try to say that fast, I mess it up. The Downright say it again. Nerdy Podcast. There you go. That was that was better. Um, thank you so much, Michael. Mike. I want to call him Mike. I just don't know. Because we have a Michael at my work, and he does not like to be called Mike. Identity theft is not a joke, oh, Jim. Jim. 
Michael! <laughs> Michael! <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so... Hey, uh, can, you, can you bear me that... Uh, <laughs> can you bear me that Wait, outline? you guys, not to talk about, like, my Denver trip a ton, but oh, we were playing... God. We were playing this, like, game where it was, like, kind of charades Just and stop. It was, like, <laughs> it was, like, charades and catch a phrase. And so you had to fill out three cards and put it in this. And there was hella like Michael Scott, The Office, you know, Nard Dog. There was like so much like office themed, like little clues or whatever. It's like was super funny. I guess you had like to good times. be there. Yeah. yeah, that was a waste of 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Big bag of boar, this yes. one. Yeah. <laughs> so moving on. <laughs> Next, please. Next. <laughs> So, uh, you guys want to hear about what I did this weekend? We would yes. love to hear that, Dylan. Not a whole lot. I went, to, I went to Costco. I did some oh. shopping. I love that. Got some, knocked like, out some home chores. Some Thanksgiving. Co- Got some rooms situated at the house that have been neglected for a bit. Well, so nice. just really like domestic. Yeah, just real. Super domesticated. Home, homey type stuff. I went to Home Depot. Love Home Depot. So, I hit all the, to... I hit the big three. Home yeah. Depot. You know, Costco, Lowe's, Costco, Bed Bath and Beyond. I just don't go. know if we'll have enough time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, yeah, that's I. I love weekends like that where you actually like, get some like stuff that you've been meaning to get to right. for a while. Yeah, like stuff yeah. that just been on the back burner forever. Yeah. And you know, the, we got to get out and uh, we did some exchanging. I don't. We call that's when we shop. Me and the wife call it exchanging because we what? exchange the money for. Just trinkets and things. <laughs> so, so, trinkets. Well, why do you go? Why so it's just an exchange. You know, you go out. And you you want to go exchange today? All right. <laughs> you go buy you, stuff. Why don't you call it shopping? You know, we try to be try to be original. You guys are. It's funny. our own thing. I like it. You guys are pretty cute, actually. Exchange. Yeah, do the exchange. So. Mm. Um. Well, that sounds fun. Yeah. The exchange. I don't get how you said you guys like doing stuff around the house. I you never like it. It's it. not that you like. I don't like it, but you. That's oh, you're like, what oh, I did. I like like it. I had you to guys do just it. said it. No, I like it. I get maximum enjoyment out of getting stuff done around the house. Maximum. I like it when like you're both in the groove. Yeah, and then stuff really gets done because oh it's no God. fun if you're if one of you yeah. and your significant other is just like not chilling or it. not there or right. just at work or whatever. Yeah. But when you're both knocking it out, it's real progress. There's like sometimes Logan and I would be like, okay, we're gonna get up really early and we're just gonna go like. 100% and yeah, there's stuff that we can bore. get done right just it's get insanity. up early just focus well coffee. like redo the basement mm-hmm. and it's, it's crazy i love it and I then you it. feel so accomplished and then you know what we always do is we get corona and a costco pizza there you go and then we sit down and we just feel like we really earned this today you know we accomplished something i got to clean the gutters you just kind of- welcome and back and we're back <laughs> welcome so, back after the nice power outage yeah, we seem to be having some intermittent power failures yeah so here in sacramento there's a bit of a winter storm that's moving through it's pretty windy and rainy out it and is. before we recorded the power did go out but we're like it probably won't go out again so we'll just try to record so yeah uh Check yeah so this may happen again and we'll just come back and say the same thing we'll fix yeah. it up for you guys which is some bull the reason this weather i'm not going to Anaheim to visit my grandpa for Thanksgiving because right. of this storm. So me, Buddy, and Mammy were going to drive to Anaheim, see Grandpa and our aunts and cousins. And this storm is moving down, mm-hmm. down, down. down. And uh, they're supposed to get some pretty good um, rain in this like mountain pass that we have to pass by the uh, the grapevine yep. on I five. So we actually decided to cancel our trip. So we're think what's funny is. You know, we didn't really have Thanksgiving plans. So Mammy and I were like asking Buddy if we could get an invite to Michelle's family Thanksgiving dinner. And they have graciously accepted us. Well, they wanted everybody but cheese. And I told them, I was like, if cheese They're doesn't like, come, right, then sorry. I can't come. That's true. We're a Chez. family. Chess. 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 What are you doing, Dill, for Thanksgiving? I'm going to be going out to the Grove. Elk? Where the, gr- where the elks play. Where the elks grove? Mm-hmm. Where they grove at. And uh, see my mammy. Your mammy? My mammy. It's going to be super special. Mammy Dale. We're also going to hit the in-laws probably before that. Where do they live? Maybe play some Trivial Pursuit for a bit. Ooh. The yeah. Pursuit? Yeah. Pursuit of happiness? Uh-huh. And then we're going to head out, out to uh, my mom's. Our, so we're keeping it mellow. Stay local. 
Are the in-laws in the EG too? They are sort. They're like borderline. They're kind of in the Calvine. Oh right, right, Calvine right. Calvine area. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Way. That's kind of ease. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna hit. Uh, we're gonna you know double dip. We're gonna pull yeah. stove top. Like, you what know, time are you guys eating? No, for sure. I actually kind of hated double dipping because I used to do that. Um, and I hated double dipping. I used to do one family in the beginning and then our family at the end of the day. And it's like, by the time I got to my mom's, I wasn't even hungry anymore. And they used to have to make, like, I would get super bent because, um, Mammy's food's the best. And... And you gotta, you for gotta Christmas, put that nap down though. You got if you're gonna double dip, you, you gotta, gotta put the nap down I know, in between. But I still, I still feel like I've hella never, I've never actually had my appetite completely back by the second meal. It's never recovered enough. Okay, uh, I got you. Yeah, right, 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 right. For Christmas, I <laughs> triple dipped. What you triple dip? Yeah. You did so a three piece wait, the trip dip, the trip dip, Kobe a three piece in a soda. The Kobe would have oh, a breakfast. Yeah, the Kobe yeah. And then Mammy would have like a early lunch dinner, like yeah, Thanksgiving. Like, like like mom's always like dinner's at two. You're like that's not dinner. That's lunch. That's dinner. And then uh, my brother in law would do dinner. Bless you. Jeez. Bless you. Oh my god! Excuse me. Could you be a professional? See, Jeez. these are, this I'm is so the sorry. residuals of, of when Clayton. Clayton comes on the show. I honestly that do I sound? I look okay, right? Mm. You look I, a little. Are my eyes glossy? You look flush. very boxy. <laughs> <laughs> boxy. I don't look boxy. Hey, like, definitely I'm, like I've got a points. Bit. I've got like points and things. Super symmetrical right <laughs> yeah, now. No, good. I'm not. I'm asymmetrical. Che- cheese does not like being symmetrical. I do not no. like being. Sm- I've always got to have one kind of off kilter. Yeah. I got to have like a shave side or a short bit. Like a. I can't. A flip. Cannot be symmetrical. Flippity floppity. Um, I'll catch you so on the flippity floppity. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the uh, the phrase that Daryl teaches Michael? That is one of them. The flippity floppity. What's the other one though? I don't know. No. When I re- when I think of it, I'll say it. Oh oh, um, I remembered it. <laughs> Dink and Flicka. <laughs> oh, Dink and Flicka. Which she's not <laughs> your ho. No, no mo. mo. <laughs> Wait, isn't that from Forty um, Year Old Virgin? No. What are you scratching over there? Oh, that's my underbeard. Sorry. The itched. underyeard. Oh, that, that was, was one. Sorry, I was remember in, <laughs> remember in 40-Year-Old Virgin, though, it was Steve Carell. He's talking about, um, remember the lady comes in because she found the dating card? And she's like, oh, yeah. she's a hoe for show. show. <laughs> Hurting for a <laughs> squirt. <laughs> uh, that's a good movie, too. That movie is super funny. So anyway, he's all. I touched a boob. Felt like a bag <laughs> of sand. sand. They're like, "What, <laughs> what kind of boobs are you touching?" Uh, bag of sand. What were you thinking? <laughs> Sorry, we are way okay, off. Okay, so let's this s- power outage has thrown us off. Our I know. Minutes. We we this sat around for like ten minutes. Um, Had some brownies. We did have some yeah. brownies, some pecan, delicious brownies. type of brownies that really got us all zinged up. They're like half brownie, half pecan, pecan pie. pie. Yeah. Super. Lish of the D. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> the chasm of Sar. Okay, so let's get some into some news, you guys. Some let's yeah. go, you guys. Let's get into some like news. Like I hella wanna. Do we like, have a? Uh, is Phil B with us this so week? So we have no. Oh well. Is he on I, special assignment this let's week. Let's see. Let's let's see where he's at. Okay. Phil B. Good evening, sidekicks. This is Phil Burgundy, reporting from an undisclosed location. What? Well, I I can disclose it. Okay. Denver. I'm in Denver, Colorado. Which means a dolphin sphincter. Anyways, (laughs) I'm on a top, top secret assignment. Very hush-hush. But this week's news will be handled by our heroes. I'll be back next week with another adventure. Stay tuned. This has been Phil Burgundy. Remain geeky, my friends. Uh, that was funny. I forgot that he was in Denver the same time we were in yeah, Denver. Yeah, he's on did special assignment. No, we didn't meet up. Um, did you guys have a brew? No. You guys didn't hit the slopes? No. A smoke and a nah, pancake? Bro. A bong, a bong and, a and a blitz? <laughs> <laughs> pipe and a crepe? Oh, yeah. I forgot that one. A pipe and a crepe? <laughs> Is that what he says here? Yeah, I like, like gold. 
Fa- Faja? <laughs> oh, father. <laughs> His father. I love that. Gold member is my favorite. What? Yeah, no, it's my favorite Austin awesome Powers by far. Gold member for 100%. Yeah, it, was, it was the best of 100%. That series. For sure. and, and I know it's probably like not cool, but I love um, Beyonce. Beyonce in it. And I think because uh, Dr. Evil is my favorite character in mm. the Austin awesome Powers, and I think he's just spectacular in that one. I like when she shakes off her hair and then she's got a big old fro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How do you say her name again? Beyonce? Why? What did I say? Beyonce. Oh. Okay. Bebe? I just say it more like a one. What do you like say? Like Beyonce. What What did I say? Beyonce. Beyonce. I said Beyonce. Okay. No, you went like Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce? I did not say Beyonce. it like that. I think you are sicky over there. Do you think so? Are you not feeling well? I feel fine, though. I do. There is like, I don't want to like sound gross, but there is probably like an over... Um, production of like snot and phlegm Ooh. and i've been sneezing like insane today those are symptoms of and being my throat sick. doesn't feel 100 percent. but honestly my body feels great i have my energies up i worked all day uh, you know i've been traveling i traveled a heck of quick to okay. denver i feel fine Maybe I that's just, it. your body's just a little you guys out. could it sounds like somebody last week oh, i'm getting over it i'm fine yeah, don't I'm worry fine. about <laughs> it <laughs> i'm good i'm good <laughs> But I never felt sick. And also, can I say, it was really windy yesterday, so maybe this is just an uh, an allergic. <laughs> it could be. It could be. So, the wind is very blowy. It's blowy today, too, dude. It it's crazy. blowing it. So cold, too. Oh, you guys. We say cold, but it's cold. to everybody else, like. I don't know, man. It's, it's pretty cold it's here. Cold. So, For Sacramento, it's cold. Nobody cares. All right. News. <laughs> Star Wars. So, yeah. <laughs> John. Sorry, Dilly and I are just trying to have like just, a friend yeah. conversation. No just talking. one cares. A little coffee talk. Okay, so Let's talk about some news. So I guess we have to cover the news since Phil B is gone. Fine, Phil. Okay, so I guess the reason that um there were there were no toys because there's going to be right. I think there is. Yeah, there is. So the reason that they didn't some release them out. before is because he didn't want any spoilers. He didn't want right. anyone to know there was a baby Yoda. No Yodes. Which just makes totally makes sense. It's and awesome. He, he was kind of explaining that, you know, a lot of times it's like it, there's no. Well, that's how things get leaked typically. Exactly. Because they have a, a verse release or. Yeah. You know. What's well, what happened with Civil War? The big Ant-Man. Oh, right. It was spoiled. Yeah. Through Legos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, but then I guess their uh, Baby Yoda merch is here. It looks weak. But then it yeah. says, bad news, Baby Yoda merch is here. So on the yeah. this is the Star Wars website. You guys have to look this up. It looks super terrible. It's like they just threw it together in two seconds. That coffee mug looks like I designed it like on the web and like you just, just did <laughs> like you got a picture off of the internet. Like I it. only had five minutes to design it and that's what came out. You sent it to a mug printing place, exactly. Especially for Disney, that's like literally this what is, it looks like. It's turfed. Disney really uh, shot the bed on this one because this looks it pretty bad. You don't do baby um, yotes like that either. So, but the, you guys, I am still so effing surprised that everybody is like so on board with this baby Yoda thing. Cause again, I know I just like, I, I reiterate things so much, but I really like the show and I love baby Yoda, but I'm like, I love puppies and I love little babies and I love cute things. That's why I like it. I can't believe that anybody that takes star Wars serious is like not feeling like this is just, kind of lame to have a freaking baby because Yoda. Because it's not the main focal point. The main focal point is Mando. I guess you can say that. But it's kind <laughs> but of... But I don't think that's true at all. And... I mean, he's kind of playing a, a bigger part, at least in these three episodes. Can, tell, can anybody yeah, tell me... Yeah, but if you look at it, he is the reason why Mando's, you know, doing what he's doing. But overall, if you really focus on it, it's more about mando than anybody else yeah and that's where this new episode you kind of real right you quickly realize that yeah and you know without spoiling it for certain people who uh, haven't seen it i saw it as did i so i think next week or next episode you guys we're going to cover two uh, mandalorian shows but anyway can somebody Jeez. tell me how baby yoda's 
Are we going to keep calling him Baby Yoda? Little outfit stay. Like, how does his little robe stay on? Do you know what I'm saying? Does he put it's that on himself with his tiny little it's hands? It's a Yoda turtleneck. Does someone dress him in the morning? Maybe does he wear a, a diaper? Safety pin. Does he He's wear a 50. diaper? Can anybody tell me that? Where does he go? How do you him? even know he poops? Well, that's true. Okay, there's so got to be some dis, he, discharge. Maybe he force pushes it out. Some disuse. He already has the force, right? Right. Yeah. So we know that. If he can like stop that huge animal in midair, I'm pretty sure he could put a little turtleneck on if he needs to. True. I'm just saying. Well, that's I guess so, but still, does he wear a diaper? No, he force pushes it out. To right. where? Into a diaper or into his little carriage? The sand. He just puts <laughs> yeah. it in the sand. It's all make little Yoda <laughs> rokas. <Yeah. laughs> Wait, little did? Yoda nuggets. Mm-hmm. Can you do the one where it's like... Oh, like, yeah, in the cheek? Don't you have to stick your finger in? <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't quite do it. That's yeah. pretty good. What about the stick your finger in and you pop it out? Oh, uh, Can anyone do that? I can't do it. <laughs> lollipop, lollipop. Oh. <laughs> That's, that was weak. So none of us can do it. This is Nay. great radio. I feel I like we're going to get in trouble before for I this. did that. Gross. Gross. I'm telling you, it's the power outage. Okay, so that's um, Star Wars news, baby Yoda. It's weak sauce. Yeah, it's super weak, dude. Like, so yeah, the merch sucks. If anybody, if I see anyone wearing that shirt, I'm gonna punch him in the face. You should. Clayton's gonna buy it. I know. <laughs> he would. He's like, you guys, this is the most amazing Star Wars um, merchandise that I've seen since the it's original such a trench. Throwback. Yeah. <laughs> the original trench, you guys. <laughs> this <laughs> is Star Wars. This is it. Right. <laughs> The they just captured the essence <laughs> of Star Wars. Um, okay, so you guys, so there's a new Walking Dead, which you guys, I am, this is so stupid. The name of it is called The Walking Dead World Beyond. So we have that The Walking Dead. Dumb. We have The Walking Dead World sound Beyond. Scary at all. We have The Fear of the Walking Dead. It's so lazy to keep using the title The Walking Dead. You just, if you want spin off shows, just call it World Beyond. Exactly. And Thank people you. will know Silly. through the grapevine <laughs> that it's a Walking Dead exactly. show. Exactly. And, and it'll after, be more mysterious. 100%. Or after you start watching it for two seconds, you're like, oh, okay. This is like The Walking Dead. It's so stupid. Mm. It's so annoying. Right. Dumb. God, it's so annoying. But I'll probably watch it because I actually really like What? <laughs> I really like zombie shows. And I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it, it sounds, a shot. You know, the. Uh, it sounds pretty decent kind of like a coming of age yeah I the think, first group to kind of come yeah. up in the in the apocalypse world i'm totally in for that because the thing of it was is that i the thing yeah, of but it they was totally shot the bed on no, they they did. Did. the walking dead no. oh yeah that's true i well, think they're like oh dead maybe got better than the than the original yeah but it bugged me they were like oh we're gonna show you how it all started and they skipped over that just like everything else mm. i actually never watched fear of the walking dead but the walking dead the first probably four or five seasons was like my favorite Legit. show yeah on tv uh-huh. and then once they killed glenn buddy i I'm totally agree with you as soon as they the first time or the killed second glenn time? the f- when they when really killed got his head bashed in yeah, yeah. that was when i kind of stopped i was already kind of waning and bit i didn't like T- negan i know that i even tried to start to watch that second season and the guy that runs the kingdom or whatever what a fear no, of the regular of the, sec- tiger? Of the second season. Yeah, the one with the, the tiger. lions. Or, yeah, yeah. I couldn't oh stand no, that, that's dude. Ezekiel. King. Yeah, but why'd you say the second season? <clears throat> no, I said I tried. Oh, to Oh, the give... next season. The next season after Glenn. <clears throat> yeah, oh, the right. season after Glenn. I tried to okay. watch. Yeah, I I never did. I because <laughs> I just so I also just heard about that and I was like no. But it was still even good after that. I don't. I but can't. No. It's no. It I'm done. I'm with you, buddy. Dive. I'm done. No. So I will check this out, but I'll have like no deal. I'll it's have, worth a shot. We'll give we'll give it a shot. I'll have low well, expectations. Homec, I'll give I'll give Homa another yeah. shot. Okay. Yeah. So that is uh, I guess expected to air sometime spring of 2020. So I I like it when they announce things that are actually coming up in the like near future. Right. Not where they're like, they're like in oh in 2023 there's going to be Marvel movies. <laughs> yeah. Like great. Tell me in like two and a half years. Yeah. Then I'll be excited. Um, actually, there is some Marvel Disney announcements that are like hella out know. deep. Mm-hmm. So we also have a DC uh, Universe uh, movie coming out or in development. It's in development called Black Adam. Um, 
And this will uh, introduce the Justice Society of America. So I guess The Rock, I saw this on The Rock's Instagram. He's being cast as Black Adam, which is kind of cool for The Rock because I feel like he should be a superhero. Um, and I also love The Rock and he's super hot. So I think DC's hoping this is going to be the shot in the arm. They I don't need. know. The only reason, the thing you is. You really is, look at it. They got big names. Gal Gadot is a big name. They have uh, Henry Cavill. They have Jason Momoa. They did have Ben Affleck. And now oh God. the and biggest movie star on the planet. But Jake, okay, Ben. Which is no, The Rock. The Rock is for sure. But Ben Affleck is, yeah, you know his name, but you don't associate that with like a good movie or anything. Definitely not. Did you see Reindeer Games? <laughs> did you see it 20 sucked. or um, not 21? What is the movie I'm thinking of? Uh, Swingers. Oh, that was Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Did he have any Vaughn good Nickerson? Are you talking Damn, about nice to meet you. Goodwill Hunting? No, that wasn't. Uh, that sucked. Ace? Too. No. Oh, that with was Jeremy it. Piven. He's in it for like five minutes. That's oh God! Are you, we're going through all this for a five-minute cameo. It would have been funny if I had it right off the bat, <laughs> but I forgot. Smoking Aces or something oh. like that. Okay. That was a decent movie. Anyway, yeah. I'm just saying that DC getting the rock for sure, but before this, I don't feel like I even knew who Gal Gagot was before Wonder Woman. Gal Gagot? <laughs> Gal Gagot. She got got. She got she a Gal Gagot. Got, got. <laughs> she got that got got. <laughs> um, so she's really not a big name because I didn't even know who the hell she was. I'm saying right now those names are big. That mm -hmm. they're it's not that big. I it's don't even name. know how to do, do her name. And what has she even been in since Wonder Woman? She's not that big of a name, you guys. Buddy. She's hot. She's hella hot, dude. <laughs> exactly. So that She's actually, it. like, uncomfortably hot. She's so beautiful. Like, She's... it's almost hard for me to, like, even imagine, you know. Do, it's like I can't even put her in the spank bank because it's like she's too pretty. Or am I allowed to talk about that on this show? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> the spank bank. No, uh, oh. gross. Spank bank. <laughs> That's an after tank. dark topic. And okay, you're not moving, moving on. on. Yeah. <laughs> Next, uh, wrap it up. Okay, so um, Disney. I don't announced. just. We I don't even care. Oh, do we care about that? Let's see. Black Panther is coming. We all know it's coming. I don't even know why we have to talk about this. Yeah, we but all it's know. twenty like twenty. Guess what? Two. There's gonna be some Marvel movies yeah, in four years. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. Okay, but this is uh, Amazon, even though we don't really know all the specifics, they are looking to make a Lord of the Rings series. So I'm excited about Which that. Which they've that been fun. talking about for a while. I just want a release date I know, already. just do it. Because there's no, there's no release date. No. So moving on. Okay, this is fun, you guys. Chuck E. Cheese is removing all of its creepy animatronic animal characters. Uh, that's, that's bull. I'm not okay with this. That's part of growing up, being creeped out by Chuck E. Cheese yeah, animatronics. Yeah, I mean, that's part of the joy of Chuck E. Cheese. My uncle used to work there, and he stole the Chuck E. head when he quit. Ooh, yeah, that's I remember dirty. that. And he filled it full of the tokens. So for years, we used to go to Chuck E. Cheese with free tokes. It says they're trying to kind of make like a more of a modern... Play on all the cheeky Chuck E. Cheese. Chicky yeah, cheese. so it says the Chicky characters cheese. that Chicky made Chicky up cheese? the Munch Make Believe Band are being removed from every single Chuck E. Cheese location. Oh, see, they should at least keep one. Yeah. So Chuck E. Cheese is going to be redesigning its locations to look more sleek and modern. Hmm. And instead of the classic animal band, there will be an interactive dance floor for kids to have more some fun on. Chuck E. Cheese himself will appear every hour. So, so all so also the Chuck E. Cheese exterior is getting an overhaul in the logo and color scheme and everything is being updated they're probably gonna update like him himself great so yeah. they're putting in a kid's dance floor so they can just get all wackadoodle out there well that's fine because i won't hip. i won't be at a chuck e cheese anytime soon she wouldn't even like children chuck e cheese <laughs> is lit i don't like kids yeah, that beer. Much. i don't care there's kids there <laughs> but they only let you drink like a couple beers and like per oh like two hours i remember They'll that they give, give you like a beers. mark right yeah yeah, yeah like, you're on like a timer. You are, yeah. Shut up. I swear, I was just there for my nephew's <laughs> but that's, birthday. That's such a good idea. So how many beers are you allowed you to have? You can only have two beers. Per hour? No, like every two hours or something. Hmm. So yeah. I think that's good. You don't, that's want, good. Like, you don't want the creepy you know, uncle, uncle getting Peter too getting drunk. all trashed. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's pretty cool. I like that. 
But why are they? I mean, do you kind of think that have you guys seen that Five Nights at Freddy's thing, like that app or whatever that kids play? No. I feel like the animatronics <laughs> band is very similar to that. Maybe kids are getting freaked out a little bit. Well, and also I I I agree they should keep like one you know like the retro location or something like block like a blockbuster. Or yeah, like we keep need an OG one. spot. There's still a blockbuster in Alaska. I think they didn't they close all of them now. No, I thought there was only like one or two left. Up I don't. There. I'd have to. We'd have to check it because I feel like a few years ago there was, but God knows now. All right. Do you guys want to get into Star Wars or Sidekick Man? Okay, let's do um, Star Wars retrospective. Um, so we're talking Episode Four, correct? A New, yes, Hope. A new Hope. Star yeah. Wars: A New Hope. Mm-hmm. So this is the first installment of Star Wars. This is the first Star Wars movie now. Ever. I know. Um, growing up, I watched this a lot. I have no idea. I didn't see it in the theater or anything. I think this was before I was born. Yes, it was. And um, but I watched it a lot when I was little, because my brothers loved it. My older brothers, they had like Star Wars sheets. They were like Star Wars guys. 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 <laughs> like they hella hella loved Star Wars. Hella. So I just wanted to like it because... tell the story about older brother? My bro hams. What? You tell it. So my older brother was obsessed with Star Wars. That he... We used to have like these piles of like rock around our grass. And my brother would sit out there for hours trying to move them because he thought if he tried hard (laughs) enough, he could get the force. Oh, that's so cute. (laughs) Like telekinesis? Yeah. He'd just like stare at the rocks. He would just stare and try to move them. Are you serious? Yeah, he He felt if he could control, you know, like thought hard enough. Did he like fold his feet up like in a yoga like style position and really I mean, if he really wanted to do it, that's exactly what he should do. So which older brother is this? Oldest brother. Okay. Oldest so you brother. guys, the he movie, shall not be named. He gets really you. booty hurt. The movie every came time out in 1977. Yeah. If Lee was born in 1974, anybody, buddy, is that correct? Yes. Four. Okay, so he was no, th- forty. He was three. No. He was three when he came out. Yeah, you're right. So he was, he was three when he came out. So th- he's probably really young when this happened. You know, because he probably saw, I don't know if he saw the movie when he was three, but. I'm sure he probably did because it was a a big deal. It was very big. That was Mm -hmm. the biggest movie at the time. I wonder, I actually wonder about this. Like, was there like a huge hype? You know how there's such a hype before movies come out? Was it like that in 1977? I don't know if it was hyped up before it came out, but I think after it came out, it became instantly popular. Yeah, I don't think there was as much into like previews and all that type of stuff. Yeah, and all this stuff yeah, coming out before. You no, know, he didn't know yeah. what was going to happen with this. It was just more of like catching fire, like everybody was talking about it. Yeah. Kind of like Bird Box in Sacramento. Oh, my God. Oh, such a good movie. That was so bad. You guys, you like that? So good. Why in Sacramento? Because oh no, was, you're talking about Lady Bird. Lady Bird. What else? Oh, no, you that, said Bird Box. Oh, yeah. Lady Bird I is good. Do I look like? Bird. Do I look like I'm from Sacramento? Hey, hey, Lady Bird <laughs> is good. I need to say that. I just said that. Lady Bird is good. Lady Bird's Lady hella Bird is good. Hella good. But I'm saying I felt like everybody in Sacramento like went out to support that movie, which was awesome. It was just like this thing around Sacramento, of like, hey, you go out, you go support this movie, and it was really good. It was just, I felt like everybody in Sacramento was talking about yeah, it. No, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, so it came out in 1977. Yes. So you, none of us were born. Dilly, you weren't born. In 77? Yeah, you, oh, you were 76. Dang. Mm, I was oh, one. Dang Dang a yeah. But he wasn't born for another Sorry. nine years. That dates years. me a little bit. Nine yeah. times. Nine times. I had been conceived at that point. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So <laughs> Young. <laughs> a little half deal was now, yeah, now, you were, running around tearing up mail. Now, Dill, did you watch this when you were really little? Were you yeah. into this hype I remember also? seeing it when I was little because I had brothers and my dad, I think, took us to... I remember seeing it. You were half I, Dill. I more remember like Empire and Return of the Jedi. All oh, right, because you were a little older. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So when you watched it the other day, 
Mm-hmm. How long had it been since you'd seen it? Oh, s- a long time. At least a decade. Wow. Wow. Almost you... like I almost completely forgot. How it was you... like watching a new movie. I don't understand. I don't understand how you I go a understand. decade without yeah. watching that movie. Right. I don't either. But I watch it. Like, it was so crazy going back and, and rewatching it. Every few years, I get like a I Star Wars kick. Say I, f- I was surprised. The thing that surprised me that I don't remember is like all the uh, dialect or the dialogue that Vader had. Like. He actually uh, has like oh, you don't yeah. remember him talking, talking that much. I don't know. I just yeah. remember like the heavy breathing and yeah. like the, the some. But just yeah, like he's got, he line. talks a lot in there. Yeah, yeah. like his one liners. I mean, I could say it's probably been over a decade since I've seen the actual original ones mm. that they added on all the new CGI stuff. Oh yeah, well, do which because you can't find those unless you have them on. VHS. Yeah, do any of us have access to that? Broham, oldest Broham. VHS. Does. Yeah, the telekinetic, the telekinetic brother. Yeah. Yeah, the brother with the force. Right. Yeah, we're not allowed to say his name on the show. He gets booty hair. Can we call Can we just say Force Bro? Force yeah, bro? or can force we bro. can he have a nickname that we can say? Mm, what would you call him? Um, that's hard cuz all I want to do is say <laughs> <laughs> Um, all anyway. I want to say is please. Yeah, please. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll we'll think of it later. Do, zoom, 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 zoom. Anyway, and a so, boom, boom, boom. Just shake your rum. <laughs> All I want to do is a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Oh, my God. Just shake your rum. Well, how come when I started singing, I got that? <laughs> you guys could yeah. g- harmonize, but I can't come in. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, Episode four. four. For a young age, Star Wars has been a thing in our house from my brothers liking it to my sisters hating it, to my mammy loving it. Um, So I grew up on these movies. This one is is good. It's definitely not my favorite. It's kind of not lower, but it is kind of lower on the scale. It is a good movie. I rewatched it uh, today, actually, because I wanted to refresh. There is something to be said about kind of the models and not having too much CGI. it I don't know if it's just because it's nostalgic to me, but it's just better than watching the newer ones because there's something about that cheesiness to yeah. it that makes it so and good. What, yeah. I th- what I immediately started, where I started going when I started re-watching A New Hope, I was like, God damn, The Mandalorian's so much better now that I've watched oh, this again. Well. Like, cause they they take a lot from it, you know. Like the Jawas ship, you see rolling yeah, in, yeah. up in in a New Hope, and then you see like when they're on the the speeders or whatever, like yeah. the way they're looking through there, and that's yeah. that that's also in uh, a New Hope, right? Like the view from inside the like binocular things they're looking through. Oh, right. Just a lot of little things yeah. that they took out that they yeah. put into the Mandalorian. Well, and uh, like in you know a New Hope, what I like about it is. They do a lot like a cutaways, like when he cuts off his arm with, you know, the with the lightsaber when Obi-Wan does it in the bar. Yeah. Do you notice that like when his arm comes off, there's like blood everywhere and it's just kind of laying there? Yeah. But never have you seen that with any other lightsaber like Uh, strike because it was old. It like cauterizes. Yeah, because it's like, you know. It, it like, burns it. It burns seals it. Seals it. Yeah. Which is just kind of funny because you can tell like George Lucas didn't really know what he was kind of doing yet. Right. He had just kind of come up with this. Right. But um, when you guys rewatch it though, can you like I try to imagine, you know, back in the day, like this is the first time, you know, the movie's coming out. Like, do you guys get why it was such a big deal? I do. Yeah. I mean, just. A lot of the cinematography, I think, pushed the boundaries of that time. You know, well, like, nobody had ever see, done anything didn't see, like you that. You didn't see anything like that back then. No, I mean, for a, a sci-fi movie to have that much um, production into it was a oh, lot. Oh, right, yeah. You know, because the only other thing you could say is Star Trek, but that was a show. Well, they made movies, but it was, yeah, very different. Very yeah, different. but back then... When did they start 
making the movies. Yeah. No, they were making the movies. Yeah, back they then. Were but ma- they were had, making. Yeah. They were in the seventies, but it, it still the production was way different. I think you could definitely tell a difference. I also just um, I it's just hard for me to like watch th- because I know what happens, you know. So it like gets me pumped up to know you know things about that happened in the later movies. So even though as much as I love A New Hope, I just I wish I could see it without knowing everything that happens afterwards to have that like mystery of it and the intrigue at the at at the end to be like, what's going to happen next? Well, have you, you know? ever heard about watching it in uh, uh, machete order? Have you ever heard about that? Uh uh-uh. So there's a special way it's of showing somebody that's never watched Star Wars before. You would watch A New Hope. <clears throat> Then you would go back and watch, or you would go A New Hope, you go Empire Strikes Back, and then right at Empire, you find out at the very end that Luke is, or Darth Vader's Luke's father. You jump back, watch episode one, episode two, so Phantom Menace, Clone Wars, then you watch Revenge of the Sith, then you go back and you watch Return of the Jedi. Oh. Because you pretty much find out. order. Yeah, because you find out about Darth, then you hear then you his almost, whole backstory. Right, you get the whole backstory, and then you jump into Return of the Jedi. That's kind of cool. Okay, <clears throat> where it's obviously now with like Solo and Rogue One, that would all change it. But right, that was a cool way. I always thought that'd no, be a that fun is, way yeah. to watch it. Right, but I can't watch Episode Two ever again. It's just so bad. It's pretty bad. What um, I actually so uh, Logan and I kind of rewatched everything, and we watched one, or like we had watched like four, five, and six over mm-hmm. like a week or whatever. So I'm like, oh, let's watch one. So we watched one, and I was like, okay, well, let's watch two. And I think that we both like, I don't know. I think I was doing laundry. I think Logan fell asleep, you know. And then we watched episode three, and we were both like fairly engaged. Episode three is very good. But we, I don't, I don't think either one of us really watched two. We just started getting so like disinterested in it. So boring. It's a lot of love story esque. Oh god! <clears throat> but yeah. back into love. that. That's not my Star Star Wars. Nay. Hashtag that. I'll hashtag it. But uh, back to episode four. It was for what that movie was and what it introduced. Knowing that that came out in seventy seven and it's still relevant. I know. And honestly, watching it, it's still good. It's still a good movie. Okay, my favorite there is line. There's some cheesiness. For no, sure. for sure, but it's you know. I mean, yeah, but that's every movie, especially a movie that was made in '77. Mm-hmm. You go back and you try look to watch at, look some at another movies. movie from that era. Yeah, and you're like, oh, it's yeah, bad. and it's I like, think oh, it's super cheesy. I think and the cheese level in Star Wars is very good for yeah, that time, and especially a sci-fi movie at that time, because like I think even if you wait you know 30 years to re-watch some marvel movies they're gonna be like oh this was a some little cheese because yeah. things are gonna change are, are you gonna sneeze cheese oh man it went away dang it buds i think you scared it Ooh, something happened that oh I, it's like <laughs> lingering so, uh, yeah you're like oh yeah so it's had like it. a blue ball it oh you look up at the light oh yeah that's right i forgot about that trick Jeez. Um, so anyway, do you guys have like a favorite line or scene from the movie? It ain't like Dustin Crops, boy. I do like that <laughs> one. My favorite line is... Jumping is, through light speed ain't like Dustin Crops, boy. My favorite line is, Old Ben? Oh, yeah, Old <laughs> Ben? That's my all-time favorite line. I my favorite it. is where he says like, here's the lightsaber, and he like looks down oh, the barrel yeah. of it. You're like... Didn't you say that in another episode? I laughed so hard when you said that because it's just, God, it's so funny. Well, you just, you think about it and it's just, I, when he made this movie, I don't think he ever realized it would be this big. Right. Because now we're like piecing to get like breaking it apart, like, you know, with the lightsaber and like with the blood and everything. Mm -hmm. It's like at that time, not knowing that this universe was going to continue to like be very, you know, like we have such a solid, like written rules and history of yeah, what it is there's you a know? lot of loopholes in there yeah. well and uh, go back and correct yeah. i watched a thing with carrie fisher and she was talking about when she was on star wars that george lucas told her 
there's no bras in space, so you can't wear a bra. So if you Morse. ever watch the movie in like anytime she runs, her titties are just and like flopping nice, all over the that's place. That's like some loose like Oh, it's material. just fabric, yeah. yeah. But she's like Dude, I just I remember him such saying a perv. No. like no bras on the set. Okay, yeah. For one, um Steezer. there could absolutely be like a freaking breast restrict restricting article of clothing in any place. Okay. Space does not He saw Carrie Fisher and was like, I wanna see right. them so yeah. I think, like, about. You know no I think that's a here. genius way to just see her boobs move around. Yeah. For real, yeah. So you watch the movie. Now it's funny because she said that. Now like it's uh, something I focus in on. I'm like, I'm also, oh, they, they are bouncing around. <laughs> so they can invent lightsabers, but not a bra. Okay, no, sure. sure. Not yeah. in space. Sure, Georgie. Not in space. No not gravity. allowed. But no hey, gravity. I'm not so mad at it. it. I'll tell you that or right, no. right now. No. Carrie Fisher, when she was young, could get she it. She was hot. And she used to party up with uh, John Belushi all the time. Oh, yeah? From yeah. the Blues Brothers? Yeah. I love the Blues Brothers. They did a little bit of some the drugs. old no nose candy. Yeah, <laughs> Booga Booga sugar. Sugar. <laughs> Booga sugar. What's the song that the Blues Brothers sing? Do you remember that? Yeah. God dang is it, it Dan is Aykroyd? It? And yeah. Oh, Belushi? yeah. I love Dan Aykroyd. It's so good. Anyway, damn know. it, that's a, that's a good one. I don't yeah. know. I can't. I can't think of it either. We used to watch that a lot when I was younger. My mom liked the Blues Brothers. I'm trying to think of other parts in the Star Wars movie. So it's just overall, it is really just kind of like how they bring all these characters together so fast that you care about. Right. Like, I mean, if you think about it, they have Luke, then you bring in Obi-Wan, which you do. You feel when he dies, you know, then you have Chewie. You bring in Han, you bring in Leia, you bring in all these people, even C three PO and R two. Mm-hmm. So is it at the end of New Hope the they destroy the, the Death, Death Star. Star? So this mm-hmm. is like the whole thing getting R two to Obi Wan, getting the plans. No. Oh yeah, in the beginning. R two has the plans. Yeah. And they get him to Obi Wan. Obi Wan and then they get Han Solo involved and then they do the whole like get to the reactor in the middle, blow it up, and then that's it. But Han comes in the end because you think he's just going to dip out. Right. right. So, yeah, dude, it's a solid movie. It's great. You know what I love is so Logan just gets always so upset that they rebuild the Death Star and then re- and then destroy it again. <laughs> I don't know why it just angers him <laughs> so much. It's a lot of <laughs> hard work just right? wasted again. I know. I mean, I wonder how long it hours. actually like takes to build a Death Star. Like when you, I couldn't even. I, I mean, mean, not even you years. Have it must infinite be infinite money. Just a millennium. A millennium. Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it. With all the money, if you have a ton of money and people just at your disposal, it's probably pretty fast. Yeah. Because the Empire's got bankroll. I can't wait to talk about it next week. Oh, I want well, to talk about the Empire Mando, Strikes really Back. Bad. That's my favorite one. Empire? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. That's the best one. Mm-hmm. You think so? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hands down. Why? Which one's your favorite? Jedi, no, I Return just... of the Jedi is good, too. No, dude. On I'm not saying Empire? it's better than Empire, oh. but it's... Well, because it is a good dope number because two, I would say. Luke comes in in the all black. Oh, yeah. Which is dope because he comes Hell back dope. and now he's like a Jedi. Yeah. And he's got the green saber. You're like, oh, yeah. this was like, yeah, he's back. No, I'm not saying it's not the best one. I just don't know if I 100% have like an all-time favorite Star Wars. Oh, pff. Empire. Because the Empire wins that whole time, and that's why I think I like eight so much, is because they're just constantly losing. Right. Because <clears throat> it's always hard to believe that. It's like they have so many troops and so many ships and everything, and they constantly win. So in Empire, they're just constantly losing. Right. And it's like, oh, this is how it really would be. You know what I mean? So that's why I like it. I like it. I Yeah, again, I just like, I don't super, I can't really rank them. I can put like what my least favorite ones are, but then once I get up to the top, it starts just kind of blur into like. Episode two is your least favorite? Uh, or Rogue One? Because Rogue no, One No, I like Rogue terrible. One. Rogue, Rogue One's, One's up terrible. there for me. Terrible. Do you only put it in? Terrible. That's your opinion. Terrible. You have a stupid opinion. Nope. I hate you. 
hate you more. I love you. I don't love you because <laughs> you like Rogue One. Weird. <laughs> That's the middle weird. of this. Did you ever this see so the Family thin. Guy once? What? Did you ever see the Family Guy Star Wars episodes? Yes. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I never watched Family Guy animation, you know. Like not even in the morning? If it's not Pixar, <laughs> get the F out. I'm trying yeah. to think of what they called the Family Guy one. God damn it, it's going to bite me now. Like Okay, two. let's... No, you guys, we're not... Yeah, there's a couple of I don't want to... Yeah. For you guys, old men it's trying like to remember... His lightsaber goes all limp, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go into sidekick <laughs> mail. <laughs> Yo, that shame, I'm going mean. to read the first sidekick mail. Um, Please read the long one. <sighs> Which... Thank the you. parm? You're so good at parms, um, though. I'll read Philippe's. I'll read Bird's. Okay, look. No, we're going to... Listen to me, Dilly. It's going to go Mammy... I'm not listening. Bird. So it'd be me reading Mammy. You read Bird. I'll read Philippe and you read Parm. What? It's a trap. Yeah. We have four emails. Who, who wrote the page? It's a trap. That's something Parm, but... Something oh dark God. side. But, I need you to read that one. But Philippe and also wrote Harvest. in a super long one. Blue Harvest. Yeah, Blue Harvest. Okay. Look at And it. then it's it's a trap. Okay, buddy, come on. We're moving on something, to sidekick mail. Something dark side. Mammies. We're moving on to sidekick mail. And I got mad card Okay, I'm going to read Mammy's. So, <sighs> from Mammy. Shout out to the amazing, timeless, and golden era of the Crest Theater. Watching Little Mermaid at the Crest Theater with my girls was so much fun. It was like a snapshot, a snapshot moment of memories and time. As to the showing of Willow at the Crest Theater, there must have been a breakdown in communication from the Hardly Heroes cast. I was ready to go, but no formal plans were ever announced. After listening to all the hype on your show and then having major difficulties for two weeks, I finally have Disney Plus in my home. The Mandalorian series is super cool and it brings back the feeling of being in the true Star Wars universe again. May the Force be with you, Mammy. Good uh, call. Good call, Mammy. Mammy, I feel like she just... Said that because some other people said that. I don't yeah, think she so. Didn't I think that's, Do you think she watched that's from it? from the heart. Oh, no. Mandalorian? Yeah, she did. She did? That's cute. She's been chatting it up to I me love about it. it. Mammy, you're so cute. Hey, <laughs> Mammy! Mammy! Or as she would say, ma'am. Ma'am. Man. What's up, ma'am? Man. Ma'am. Okay, so Dilly. Which one are you doing first? I rip bird. pages out of the packet now. Can you do bird or what are you doing? I'm going to do bird. Okay. <clears throat> that means you have parm. <clears throat> no, I have yeah. fleet. All right, you got parm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here it goes. This is from bird. Okay. 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 Mad cardigan. Okay. Since you asked for it, I'm laying out the rules for Dilly's Star Wars Nerd Up Challenge. Okay. Okay, we did ask for it. He doesn't have to rewatch the Star Wars movies he's already seen, just the ones he hasn't seen. Unless, of course, he has no memory of the ones he says he's seen, then which, he may want to rewatch for his own benefit. Which is true because you said you hadn't seen A New Hope. Well, no, I know. I told decade. you which ones I had seen, but I wasn't sure of the name of The Phantom Menace. I said the one where Anakin rides the thing. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. What is it? A the Phantom, Phantom Menace. Menace. Episode no, I know. One. What does Anakin ride? So, let me. Okay, <laughs> so. Pod racer. I, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I was thinking we just stick to the Ridge Tridge. Prequels <laughs> and current series. Not include Rogue One and Solo unless you guys want to. No, I like I'm that. I'm good with that. Yeah, we I'm don't good need with to include. Yeah. No, we don't need that I don't crap. want to hear about that. All right. So here's how I'm thinking this will all play out. First, I want to know exactly what movies Dill has seen so I know which he will be watching for the first time over the next couple weeks. I will put a question together for each movie going to try to make them fairly easy enough though maybe a bit harder for the movies i know he will have recently watched okay uh dill we have eight questions to answer if he gets over half right meaning five questions correct he wins the point and continues his domination oh, God. in Dom the nerd domination in the nerd up bro down challenge you're not oh one point is a domination, a domination. i think it's like two points maybe one point is a domination you're not three points ahead of me, dude. 
I don't know. I think yeah. you're like in the negative. Because remember, we gave him a point for his Tom Hanks shirt. Nobody yeah. gave him a point for that. And I saw all the Toy Stories. So, all right. That's so, the quiz should take place on the episode before the Hardly Heroes fan experience. So, we all know Dill is ready for the rise of Skywalker. I'm with this. Yep. Let me know what date you're recording that episode, and I will have the questions ready to go. Dill. I plan on watching all the movies leading up to the Hardly Heroes fan experience as well, so you won't be the only one putting in work. Okay, I like that, because I don't want to feel like I'm the only one having no. to work well, here. Well, we'll all be watching Star Wars. So please, <laughs> you guys, watch us with me. Best of luck, Mr. Jenkins. That's me, <laughs> LaDonathan Jenkins. And I hope you all have a nerdtastic Thanksgiving. Thanks. Signed, Mad Cardigan. <laughs> She's really embraced the Mad Dude, Cardigan. Dude, I am a, obsessed with Mad Cardigan. Okay, so I'm going to read par, uh, Philippe's. Parms. I don't like that Parms. she's my villain and she's trying to piggyback on my name. I know, right? Yeah, she is. She totally... She might actually come in here and steal that throne, son. Yeah, right. I'll smack her. Okay, so here's Philippe's. Warning. Sound the Parm alarm twice and strap in. This is going to be a long one. Alarm, 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 alarm. Everybody get ready. It's an alarm, alarm. alarm. Yeah. Dilly, drink some water before reading this. Uh, I'm reading it, Philippe. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, guys. Seeing as I'm not around because of work stuff, I wanted to write in and put some perspective on this retrospective. This week, we talk episode four. The original. The story that started it all. Lucas created the story to retell the hero's journey, but in an updated way. We get a monster plus villain, a young hero reluctant to start his journey, the old sage, the redemption of a companion, all the things that make a great story. We get this magical adventure with Luke only fighting because his family was taken from him and he feels he needs to save the princess. He meets a dirty scoundrel in Han who is selfish, self-motivated backstabber, but it helps because he's getting paid to do so. His master is killed by the villain, which motivates him to join the cause and destroy the Death Star. The imagery in this film is so iconic that to this day, we are wowed by a film that got things right, but only because of accidents and budget restrictions. Vader is menacing and dark, and I'm sure we're all happy that David Prowse's light lisp was replaced by James Earl Jones' strong and commanding voice. Han Solo coming back to save the day after he was... We all believe that he took the money and ran away, made his story arc fulfilling, and is where I draw any disclosure from the solo movie. And Luke's journey from whiny child crying about power converters at Toshi Station to piloting an X-Wing and destroying an entire space space station using the Force after turning, turning of his target computer showed growth and strength that he didn't have at the beginning of the story. If New Hope is what made us all fall in love with Star Wars, the next week's Empire Strikes Back is what defined the series for most of us. As a fan, this movie will forever be timeless and will completely be a part of what makes me a nerd. Well, anyways, gotta go and continue surviving the snowstorm. Until next week, sidekicks, White Ranger out. So, yeah. Solid points there. Very solid points. It is true because if, it wasn't for Empire. That is what solidified. No, you're this totally is. right. What he said and kind of what you said also, how that's your favorite movie. It it's it's like they started the story and people are like, Okay, what's this about? And then um Empire comes and it's just like, Oh snapples. This is let's get phenomenal. into it. Fantastic. Okay, so I think <laughs> did you drink some water, Jill? Uh I drank some beer. Okay, so we and have a there's a, water and beer. A very long email from the Parm Alarm. Sound it. He does this to us all the time. Parm alarm, parm alarm. Everybody get ready. It's the parm alarm. Yeah. 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 Greetings and salutations, heroes. I hope this correspondence finds you well and is read in the appropriate segment of the show according to the well-planned out outline. I figured I'd take a break from watching Disney Plus and writing in. Anyone else notice this? Shmi seems a bit edgy lately. Last couple of episodes, Shmi is coming in to the Triple HQ hot. Put down the whiskey. Please go back to the wine spritzers and let's get happy Shmi back. 
She has been a little. It is shy. true. She hasn't been happy. She's lately. had a few episodes that have been a little edgy. Last but, three. You yeah. know what? Can I tell you guys exactly what it is? I do a podcast with a bunch of mean boys. All you guys do is make fun of me. I can't make my own nicknames. You guys are constantly pointing out every little thing that I say wrong. I don't get no. What? I get that all the time. Well, that's true, but I get no love and support. You know, it's like that's what your boyfriend's for. You guys don't lift me up into the heights. Into citrus I was a heights. Baseball shamer. <laughs> that's true. Citrus heights. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take you to citrus heights. Okay, <clears throat> glad to hear Clayton, a.k.a. Creighton, a.k.a. Cray Bay on the show. Super knowledgeable about Star Wars, and the love definitely shows, but definitely not as much as he loves Buddy. Hey, I'll admit it, I got trolled by Clayton in the Sanctorum. I took the bait, but honestly, <laughs> Clayton is super cool in person, super happy, and he's part of the HH uh, deep cut Star Wars retrospective. It's true. Clayton knows the Star Wars. That's yeah, for sure. he really does. Cry Bay. Star Wars. I love hearing the debate. There's a lot of love and hate going on for Star Wars. My two cents. You can love something, but you don't have to love everything about it. I have my issues with Star Wars, but I don't blame it on G. Luke's. I still <laughs> love it. Uh, Misa no Bamba Jar Jar Fansa. <laughs> but I still enjoy the prequels. The only times I've been disappointed with Star Wars is when I let my own expectations and desires take over and then the story goes in a different direction and I feel left let down. Yeah. Uh, in a weird way, we need some of the missteps along the journey to help to help identify why we love Star Wars so much and what makes Star Wars well Star Wars. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I like okay, it. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay, okay. okay, okay. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> So, yeah. All right. Uh, I heard a lot of praise for Dave Filoni. Is that right? Dave Filoni? Yeah. And the work he's done on Clone Wars, Rebels. Everyone seemed to have ignored Resistance and, of course, The Mandalorian. But Filoni is probably the closest connection to George Lucas we have in the Disney age of Star Wars. Uh, he He's like a disciple of Lucas and the ideas of what began Star Wars. Filoni walked through Clone Wars and Rebels with George Lucas to make sure it was all still in the vision of Star Wars. Now Filoni has made excellent choices by honoring the past, the legacy, bringing in portions of the expanded universe, making it fresh and mean something in today's first for today's fans. What'd you take a picture of? Yeah. Uh, cheese was falling asleep over here. <laughs> The idea that it feels like Star Wars has to do has a lot to do with the storytelling, but also a lot with the visuals. <laughs> Rebels is like an homage to Ralph McQuarrie's original concept art for Star Wars. Yeah, oh, no, okay, for sure. Yes. Oh, you guys are awake all of a sudden. Glad well, to have you I back. Love Rebels. I like um, Ralph McQuarrie's. I'm trying to do Parm's email justice here. I know you are, and you're doing a great job. Nerd break. Let's get Shmi some nicknames so she gets re-engaged with the conversation. How about R2 Shmi2? I like it. Maybe C Cheese P.O. Okay, let's do Princess it. Princess Shmia. <laughs> Shmi Shmi Binks. No, no. I like Shmi Shmi Binks. No, everything I don't want. Shmi Star Shmi Wars the man poo Lorian. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Save that for the after dark, son. Hey, G or um, what's his name? Parm. No, yeah. no bro. Yeah, that was sick, Parm. We don't I freaking that. mention that on the regular show. I like R2 the, uh, Shmi too. I like R2 Shmi too. No like, Shmi Shmi Binks. Uh, I like real Shmi quick Shmi though. Binks. See Cheese P.O. I like See Cheese P.O. P.O. Let's do that. Why not uh, Shmi Shmi Binks? <laughs> real quick though. Shout real out quick. to AV from Beehive. Congrats on the anniversary. <laughs> Shout out to Toy Fusion for bringing a Star Wars, a Ridge Tridge cast member, Tim Donaldson, to the Hardly Heroes fan experience. Yeah, event. boy. boy. Mm -hmm. Make sure to check out the new Harlequin show on DC Universe. Harlequin. Harlequin. You guys like how I Hardly say that Quinn. in one word? Harlequin. Hardly Quinn. Hardly Quinn. Getting super steamed up for the Hardly Heroes fan experience event. I'm super excited to experience this with the Hardly Heroes and the sidekicks. <laughs> this is the way... James, a.k.a. 
aka not brother James, aka Navarro, aka Parm, aka Parm Alarm, aka Sidekick with no nickname. P.S. Seriously though, can I get my lightsaber back? No. Nay. Dude, we just did a, we just did a sick ass photo shoot with that lightsaber. Yeah, dude. I looked real nice. I look a little boxy, but you when straight. you guys were like bashing them together, I was getting a little worried. I was like, "Is that Parm's lightsaber?" Way to I mean, rat us out, I had dude. A dream he is a, a rat. He ratted you out to dad. Seriously? He rats were us. Were you out like now. known as the tattletale I'll in your snitch. family? Yeah. You're straight hell of snitch, bro. I'll snitch on you guys. For Snitches real. get What's stitches. What's crazy about your snitching though? It's like automatic. Yeah, like he doesn't even think about it. He's like, oh, when you guys were smashing him yeah, up. it's like, whoa, bro, don't yeah. tell dad that shit. Dry, is that a dry snitch? Is that what they call that? A dry yeah. snitched? <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. But the way you're like bashing them together, I was like, that's probably going to break. No, they're made up. They're meant. They're meant to fight. I was like, is we that weren't, Parm's lightsaber? We weren't using the purple one. You were? Well, you were the one dragging the purple one on the dirt. Through those rocks? Yeah. Yeah. And that was Parm's? Remember when you farted on it yeah <laughs> stuck it between your butt cheeks yeah and i like went back and forth and like then it was poured a towel the beer yep the beer on it was no. pretty sick <laughs> at the end yeah. okay you guys so yeah look look it that's our sidekick mail thank you so much for writing in mammy mad cardigan philippe and the even the part oh uh real quick real quick oh. a shout out to a new patron <gasps> listener oh my god Skyler. Yes. Yes. I'm so excited that Skyler's a new patron. He's going to get to hear all of our raunchy stories on I'm the After Dark. I'm a little dark. afraid. <laughs> hey, did you see my new After Dark logo? Oh, no. I didn't know you had swapped it what up. What do you mean? Oh, no. Oh, our logo. Yeah. I thought you meant you changed your picture for that. No, the After Dark logo <laughs> looks good, right? Yeah. So now he's able to be in the After Dark Instagram. Mm-hmm. I know, but I couldn't. He hasn't requested it yet. I feel like. But we got Wait, it. You know what? His cat requested. Is that his Instagram? Oh, Chino. Yeah, Chino requested it, but not Skyler. I mean, Chino is money. But is Chino uh, paying to play here, or? I mean, he gets one or the other. It's either Chino or or Skyler. Right. So, so Take Chino has a separate Instagram. His cat. No, actually, maybe he doesn't. So it's just Chino is Skyler's Instagram. Yeah. Okay, I'll accept it then. I got you, you Skyler. You know why. I got right? you. I love Chino. Chino. That's the name of his cat. Why? Alpha Chino. Alpha Chino. After no. the khaki pants. No. After the um, prison. No. Any other. Cheech and Chong. No. Chino. From Chino. Deftones. Deftones. Yep. Oh, Deftones. Okay. He's Chino a big Moreno. Deftones fan. All right. Uh, okay. So welcome yeah, to the club, Skylar. Thanks for um, giving us your money. Yeah, and the rest of you people that your haven't monies. chop chop, because there's grade A good content. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's AKA some... the Blanny still hasn't done it. AKA male nanny. You know what? What's funny though? What I need to start thinking about is that when we do the after dark episodes, a lot of times I think like, well, there's only like nine people listening to this. So, like, whatever I say is fine. But as people keep signing up and they can go back and listen to all this, I don't know if I want all this out in the nethers. Right. It's too late. In the nether regions. It's over. Yeah, it's true. It's I just want to get them nips on there. Dilly's nips. You don't want to see these things. <laughs> They're supple, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. I heard they're large and in charge. You know? I think uh, manhole covers was mentioned. <laughs> okay, so you large guys, Marge. Mm-hmm. You guys, just a few things. Um, you know, just to rep our our um, upcoming event, our Star Wars Harley Heroes fan experience is December nineteenth. It's a Thursday night. We're still oh. second selling tickets, but we have like very very few tickets left. It's mm-hmm. just the front row. It's just the front row, and we're only selling them for twenty dollars now. Um, help us sell it out. We want to uh, sell this puppy out. Right. Yeah. Now. So, Young um, Yetis. Yeah. Where are you at, Young Yetis? Danger Bay. Danger Bay. Okay. So, just to give a shout out to some of our um, uh, existing sponsors, we have Caliber Collision, Crest Theater, Beehive Collectibles, Jackrabbit Brewery, Birdie and Bean, Toy Fusion, West Sac Intergalactic Expo, Colossus Girl, Wizard World, Stockton Kong, Stockton Con, and ARB Digital. 
So, I also did want to... It's a nice lineup. Yeah, so also, you guys, the Crest Theater um, right now is giving away free tickets, free 50 free tickets to our sidekicks. So, I actually got five free tickets for me, Mammy, sister, Gizbo, and our niece... Gizbo? Gizbo went. We saw Little Mermaid last night, actually, for free. It was super awesome. Um, they have so many cool movies. If you use the uh, promo code I am classic, it's literally just free. Like it's there's no even like No uh, extra charge. No, there's no extra charge, there's no service fees. It literally is just like free. They just get awesome. I mean it doesn't get better than that, you guys. Go you get guys, the tickets while you still right, can. Right, and it's super easy to do it on your phone to buy the tickets and then you can just do you know, they do the digital ticket mm-hmm. at Crest Theater. It's nice. such a pretty And it's not theater. it's not every show, but you kinda have to look for the this is the ones that will let you use the promo code, right? Right, because I no. think it's for the classic movies. Yeah. yeah. But I think yeah. Also, you guys they have like wine, beer there, they have hot tea, they have a heck of candy. Yeah. And really good popcorn. So. Plus, it's just fun. You can go down on K Street and have a blast, yeah, too. Yeah, it's so much fun. Hit coin op or something. So what's super there. funny is, like, if you go anywhere with Mammy, if she ever sees a police officer, uh. she she has to go up to this police officer and thank them for putting their life on the line mm. and thank them for their service, which is really sweet, right? But there was, like, a lot of cops out. So she there was a car parked, a cop car parked. She had to walk over to the cop car thank him and then we're walking and then she sees two more police officers she had to stop and talk to him and thank him it's like did i tell you uh i was walking in the doco this weekend with shanice and caleb um what would they be our our niece niece and and nephew nephew? yeah so we're all walking (laughs) i don't know you'd be like sheila what are you to me (laughs) it's not mean it's not your uncle or anything so (laughs) monkey okay go ahead can I finish? Yeah. <laughs> can, can I finish? finish? Can I finish? Can I, finish? Can I, I have finish? spoken. Can I finish? <laughs> <laughs> to watch Kevin Costner drink his own urine. Where do I sign up? <laughs> Are you done? Uh, Dana Carvey. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> oh I'll chop a lie. Chop a back lie. No, so there was Nailed a cop it. on a horse <laughs> and it pooed. Butter- I'm talking big poo. Butternuts? Yeah, butter stuff. Like right by you guys? Pop, pop, pop. Right in front of us, like oh, a big, massive man. poo. And the cop gets off there and he cleans up he the poo. He scoops it up? He scooped up the poo. What does he do with it? He walked it to the nearest garbage can. It was gnarly. I never thought I'd see that. That's pretty cool. I'm so talking, he must have like some kind of scooper on there too, right? Yeah, it was like it's this metal large. scoop scoop. I actually wonder... That's More actually, like a snow shovel. That's actually yeah. cool to know because... You know, in um, Capitol Park, which is just the park that surrounds the state capitol here in California, there's a lot of, um, what do they call them? Just police or horse police or something? Mounted police. Oh, mounted police. And so there's Mountain a lot police. of them at Capitol Park and they're super cool, but you know, you never see horse poop anywhere. So that's actually interesting. Yeah, they have to pick it up. I couldn't believe it. That's cool. I mean, honestly, I if I were to be a cop, I'd want to be a goddamn mounted police officer. You really would? Oh, hell yeah. You get to ride a horse all day? I I'd love, request a Clydesdale. I love horsies. Horsies are so cool. What kind of cop would you want have to you be? Have you ever rode a horsey? I have rode a horsey a few Mine'd times. Mine would be highway patrol because no. you get the fast cars. You know what my second choice would be? Yes, please. A bicycle cop. You ride a fast car. Because then you get like exercise. <laughs> You wouldn't get fat like some of those police officers. You're out there on the bike, you know, you're seeing the city. That'd be so cool. I wouldn't want to be a bicycle. You have to be cleaning up horse crap all the time. No, on a bicycle. I mean, a bicycle is my number two. What about a horse? You'd have to pick up two. No, actually, I think I would love my horse so much that I would pick, I pick up my, I pick up my dog's poo all the time. Yeah, but those are little poos. No, this is a big poo. But you guys yeah. know about horse poo, though, because, you know, they, they just eat, like, grain and stuff. It's so fibrous. It doesn't stink like our poo. Uh, well, this It poo smells stink. like a horse, um, um, but, It's you like know. horse puree. Or what? <laughs> horse poopery. Where do they keep horses at? Like a... It's a called stable? Something. Yeah, it smells like a horse stable. It's just not that stinky. And it's not juicy or anything. It doesn't There's smell no good. Re- I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's it doesn't smell good. Honestly, it's still I think poo. it smells it better like than my dog's poop. <laughs> anyway, what you it's guys? A, let's just dog. say it's a step up from a dog fart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what okay. are you feeding your dog? It's depressed. It's depressed. <laughs> Wait, what else does he say? He's like, um, what? So you can beat him, yeah. fatty, saddlebags. <laughs> 
Anyway, I feel like it's getting late, you guys. It's 10 o'clock. Um, I think we got to wrap this up. Yeah, before the power goes out. Yeah, so you guys, right. um, just check us out on Podbean. Subscribe to um, our premium show. Check out our merch on our website. And where can they find us, bud? Dilly? They can find us on Instagram at Hardly Heroes. Yep. They can find us on Facebook at Hardly Heroes. Or on the Hardly Heroes Sanctorum on Facebook. That too. Keep the show going. Where else can they find us? They can find us on Twitter at Hardly Heroes. Number one. Or you can go to HardlyHeroes.com. Or you can you can email the show from hardlyheroes.com or you can email us at hardlyheroes at gmail.com. Yeah, just remember one thing. Disclaimer, they don't know shit. You guys have a good night. See you guys. Bye. Nighttime. Bye, love you.